ND filters are an essential accessory, especially if you do any type of like film work or photography work. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install those filters on the Mavic Air 2 so you guys can get better footage. Stick around. Just a quick introduction for anybody that is new. I am Aaron and this is the Help Cloud channel. Here we focus things like how to's and tutorials, reviews and unboxings. So if that is something that you enjoy, consider subscribing. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. In today's demo, we are gonna be using the F-Stop Labs uh, ND filter kit. It's a six pack kit. You get an ND4, an ND8 and an ND16. And then of course you get those same stop amounts but also in an ND and a polarized version. So. If you have any interest in those, I'll go ahead and post those up or post a link in the description below there for those that are interested in them. To get started, what you're first gonna want to do or what I like to do is grab the ND filter and pull it out of the case that I'm going to start with. In this case, it's gonna be the ND4. And then of course, if you haven't already, make sure that you've removed your gimbal cover off of the camera because we're gonna need to gain access to the gimbal. Now, once you've done that, I usually like to just rest the backside or the bottom side of the drone on something stable because we're gonna be grabbing the gimbal and we're gonna be applying a small amount of counter pressure when we're um, removing this filter. So we've got the filter here. What you're gonna want to do is just grab the outer edges. You can see right along the side where that split is. Yours might be just a metal ring or the metal ring that comes with the, the Mavic Air 2. This is the DJI ND16. But in any case, what you're gonna to want to do, grab the edges of it and just rotate it counterclockwise just a few degrees until you feel the snap. It might be a little bit hard at first, but once you get it, you're gonna feel the snap. Now, as you can see, we are offset just a few degrees. And once you see that, you can then gently pull away the filter or the metal ring away from the camera and you've successfully removed uh, the ring or the filter. Now to apply it, you just all you gotta do is just reverse the steps. Make note of the larger sections that slim down and you're gonna take the filter here and do the reverse step. So we're gonna go ahead and start it off just a few degrees. Make sure it's resting on it like that. You can see that we're off just a few degrees and then you're gonna rotate it again or clockwise until you feel a very similar snap and you've successfully installed the filter on the Mavic Air 2. Bonus tip, in order to achieve the most natural looking motion blur, you typically want to have your shutter speed double what your frame rate's going to be. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be 1 48th if you can, or 1 50th if that's the closest that you can get. To do this, if you're shooting on a bright sunny day, you'll notice that your shutter speed is gonna be well over that, and that's where the ND filters come in because they reduce the amount of light that hits your sensor, allowing you to achieve those results. This is a rule of thumb, and of course, rules are meant to be broken, especially if you're trying to achieve a different look. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's drone tech tip. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're feeling really generous, hit that bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>